once around shell galaxies. These are elliptical galaxies that seem to contain a ring of stars around them. And you've got an example there on the main title screen. But here's another one. Messier Object 94 in Canis Venatici, the constellation of the hunting dogs. And this has a very bright center. And then around it, you see those shells of bright material. Right in the center, you've got the old yellow and uh, orange and red stars. Then you've got a ring of blue hot stars, young new stars having been formed around it. And then gradually those shells making these concentric pattern around the center with that outermost rather faint ring around it. NGC 1344, down in the southern constellation of Fornax, shows the structure as well. This would look like an, a normal elliptical galaxy about 60 million light years away, but out beyond the central region are the complicated arcs and shells and an outer diffuse halo many times the size of the main galaxy. It's a little hard to see in the image, but jump down towards the bottom, you can certainly see part of that two or three times the radius of the main galaxy away, just below that little yellow star in the center of the image. So what's going on? Are these the results of mergers? <clears throat> well, it seems highly probable. Here's another one, NGC 3923. We have this onion-like structure again, and they've detected about 20 layers of rings in the overall structure of this galaxy, indicating a whole lot of activity has gone on in the recent past. And we find this sort of structure with these shells in about one in 10 of the elliptical galaxies and never in a spiral galaxy. You don't find spirals with this sort of structure at all. One galactic oddball is this one. This is ESO 381-12, 270 million light years from uh, the solar system, down in the southern constellation of Centaurus. And you can see the bright central region of the galaxy, surrounded by those ghostly shells, getting fainter and dustier as they go out. So it, again, looks like there's been a collision in the recent past. If you look around the galaxy, you can see lots of smaller uh, tiny galaxies, probably more distant in the background, but one or two nearby ones in particular, there's one sneaking onto the image at the right hand side there, that's a companion and may be involved. But this galaxy is unusual. It's a lenticular galaxy. You don't hear much about lenticular galaxies. There aren't that many of them. And they're a weird hybrid between a spiral and an elliptical. And we don't quite know what to make of this one because we very, very rarely see the shell structure for an elliptical, uh, anything but an elliptical galaxy. So a lenticular galaxy with shells is very, very much a bit of a cosmic mystery. It probably has had an interaction recently, maybe with its neighbor, maybe with one that it's merged with. And that's created a whole lot of new stars the shock waves moving outwards have triggered off new star formation uh, and a lot of bright stars there in that shell structure. One that you can find with an amateur grade telescope is the Umbrella Galaxy, NGC 4651. I don't know why uh, Charles Messier didn't have this in his catalogue, in fact, but it is difficult for us to estimate the distance. We're not sure whether this is between 35 and 72 million light years away, probably somewhere in the middle. It's an outer member of the Virgo cluster, which I've mentioned in other videos, and which the Milky Way and Andromeda are going to merge with in the distant future. And off to the right, we can see a streamer of stars there, which is the remains of a small galaxy that's been torn apart by the strong gravity of its larger neighbor and has created that sort of halo around the outside there and that uh, contains a lot of neutral hydrogen 
that was detected by radio telescopes. And it could be that off to the right-hand side, just where the image gets rather misty there, there is a new dwarf galaxy being born out of that streamer of material. So it could be a galaxy in formation as a result of this previous train wreck. Here's a pair of galaxies that have definitely been interacting recently, 100 million light years away in the constellation of Pisces. We have NGC 474 and 470. And you can see the two of them, the smaller spiral armed blue outer reaches of NGC 470 with its yellowy orange nucleus, classic spiral structure. And then the shell galaxy, NGC 474, with all those wispy, ghostly shells and arcs moving away from it. And we're not quite sure whether it has been an interaction between NGC 474 and 470 that's created that structure, or whether 474 actually merged with another smaller galaxy earlier on, and that these two are now approaching each other and going to undergo yet another galactic merger event. If we zoom in on uh, 474, you can really see that structure resulting from this uh, previous collision and all of the delicate shells that it's created. It's a very, very beautiful image, I think. And uh, it's, uh, all these ripples being sent outwards through the uh, clouds of stars that are in the uh, gap between the galaxies there. Quite amazing. And I've got a simulation here, which we'll try to get to work and we'll run that now, of a couple of galaxies colliding. There they go, near miss and then near miss again, and then a full collision. And as it does so, you can see the simulation is generating that same sort of layered structure of shells of gas around the central bright region. So it just goes to show that the uh, mathematics of galaxy mergers and formations with all these small galaxies coming in and gradually building one larger one, but in the process creating all these shells around it really does uh, simulate the sorts of things that we see. Here comes another merger, look, galaxy whipping around. Uh, it's quite amazing. And you can definitely see those streamers, arcs, and the uh, shell structure forming as this uh, simulation runs. Just amazing. And finally, we have a galaxy cluster here with a very large number of galaxies in it and around it, a huge gas shell showing that these clusters do end up with an enormous amount of material ejected during the merger process that builds the giant ellipticals, creating a shell of gas right round the cluster, not just round the individual galaxies themselves. And the other thing you can see in this image is that there is the nearby cluster with all the gas, but behind it, there are lensed, gravitationally lensed, more distant arcs and streaks from other ga galaxies much more distant behind, where the effect of curved space caused by the mass of the intervening material is stretching their images out into these great long rings and arcs. Quite amazing. Um, a lot of this has been developed with a combination of optical and x-rays in order to detect the very, very hot gas, very low density, but very, very high temperature gas in the uh, shell of the, the uh, galaxy cluster here. And so I'll just leave you with that picture of NGC 474 and 470 um, looking to merge together perhaps in the future or have already had one pass through the other and create those delicate shells. So thanks very much for listening. And that was Once Around Shell Galaxies.